Will Colmeyer, welcome you back to our Rehab at Work post-game report. Rehab at Work with locations in Columbus, Brooksville, and in Amory. I'm being joined by ICC head coach John Williams. This interview, like all of them this year, brought to you by the Bank of Oklahoma. Crack a smile. It's okay. You can smile after this one tonight. 31-28. You scored 17 unanswered points in the fourth quarter. How did you get it done? Well, it was a team effort. Uh, you know, I thought uh, the offense picked up the defense when we needed to and uh, felt like, uh, you know, the defense picked up the offense when it needed to. And, you know, um, obviously special teams had a huge effect tonight. Um, so uh, it was a great team win. You know, I would say, you know, probably story of the game is uh, we were able to establish um, the line of scrimmage and we're able to run the football effectively. And I've said week in and week out the last three weeks, we can't be one dimensional. It puts our quarterback in a bind. And, you know, uh, because we're able to be effective running the football for, I think, over 200 yards, we're able to keep them off balance a little bit and take a little pressure off of our quarterback and uh, keep those defensive ends guessing a little bit rather than just teeing off on him. So it was a good team win. No, no doubt about that. A lot of big plays. Uh, the inspirational leader by far. How about Courtney Gladney? I mean, he's playing hurt, partner, and he is not only playing hard, but playing at a high level. He was our no doubt about it, our downtown floral uh, star of the game. 165 yards on 26 carries, two touchdowns, no fumbles. Right. You know, Courtney, we didn't know, uh, we call him Snoop. Uh, so we didn't know Snoop was even going to play in this game. Um, we thought last week he may be out for the year. And uh, bless his heart, you know, he's got a collarbone that's poking up out of his shirt right now. Uh, it just looks real <laughs> gory. But, uh, you know, he really sucked it up and uh, played well, uh, hurt. And, um, you, know, uh, you know, biggest thing was we, we, we won the fourth quarter. And uh, that's huge. So I was, I was impressed by the character of our team to come back and, uh, you know, and uh, win a game. Uh, so we, we – we fought some adversity, and uh, we talked a lot about adversity last night in our team meeting, and um, hopefully some of those things that we said sunk in. Well, I think it did because in a three-game losing skid, you're down 28-14 in the fourth quarter, hadn't really had anything going offensively in the second half. A lot of teams would have been in punt formation just said, ah, just one of those years, but not this ICC team. And we talked about it on the postgame show, even after the gut-wrenching loss last week against Colin, you felt this team had enough character to make a march like you, like our teams have done the last couple of years. Yeah, I mean, you know, two out of the three games we've lost been by five total points. So, you know, um, you know, um, the biggest thing is we have a lot of young guys. I think we got 40 freshmen. Mm. So... This win was huge for us because we were able to win a close game and come from behind. So now they know that we can do that, you know, whereas before, you know, they were just typical freshmen and, you know, didn't know if they could win a close game. So it was neat as a head coach to see uh, the, the team mature uh, nope. tonight, you know, and, uh, um, you know, and it, it was good for our coaches. I'll be very honest with you. Uh, last week, after the game against Cole Inn, um, you know, I was uh, I was very hard on um, on our on our on our coaches and our players, and um, you know, I wasn't real satisfied, you know, with with anything. And uh, our coaches responded, our players responded, and um, and I'm real pleased with that. You know, we were so close, we were so close, but we were doing some little things that were not like ICC football. We we're doing some undisciplined things. Um, so, you know, we were able to correct that, overcome it. And I think tonight we played with a lot of discipline and uh, we overcame some adversity. Well, no doubt about that. And you go now four and three on the year. And with all the injuries that this team has had, and I know Zach Adams is here from the Itawamba County Times. He wants to give an interview with you in just a moment. But just talk about now having a couple extra days. We've got to get ready for the rivals. We head to Boone Vegas next Saturday. Yeah, no doubt. You know, uh, the best thing about this week is, um, you know, our players get a long week, and uh, they need it. Uh, we as coaches need it. Uh, you know, I think they need to get away from us, and we probably need to get away from them for a while. But uh, 
we'll bring them back Sunday, uh, Sunday night, and uh, and get going next week. But uh, you know, uh, doesn't really matter what your rankings are, what your standings are, what your statistics are, your record when you play Northeast. Uh, that's Mississippi State, Ole Miss, Sovereign, Alabama, Tennessee, Georgia. That's just your rival, and you don't want to lose to them. And um, you know, obviously. Uh, we hope that we can take this little bit of momentum we're going to have and roll into next week and uh, and uh, and have a great game. Uh, it's homecoming for them, so uh, hopefully we'll have two homecomings in a row. Nice. So uh, that's the goal. I, I like where you're going with that one. Well, congratulations, John, to you, the staff, and the players, and uh, enjoy this one. Thank you. I appreciate it, and, I, and I'd also like to tell our viewer or our, our audience to to keep our guys in your prayers. We had, uh, I guess, four guys operated on this week, and um, a couple of shoulders and a couple of knees, and we're go <laughs> we're, go we're gonna need some uh, some prayer warriors out there uh, to uh, to help us get through this, but. Uh, Thanks uh, for all you guys do. Oh, thank you. Definitely a mass unit this year for ICC football, <laughs> but a winner tonight. And that interview brought to you by the Bank of Oklahoma.